in our previous lecture we have discussed about the concept of linear equation we will see how we can solve a linear equation and what is meant by the by solving a certain uh, linear equation let's see how process of process of finding the value of value of unknown is called solving an equation it's called solving an equation so solving an equation means when you are going to find the value of any unknown in the equation and the value that comes out after finding called value of value of unknown is called roots of equation roots of that particular equation of which we will, we are finding so solving a certain linear equation is mean is to process the process of finding the value of unknown in that equation and where once we have solved and we have got the answer and the answer is called the roots of equation now we have two methods for solving we have two methods we have two methods for solving a certain linear equation what are what are those method 1 and method 2 let's discuss them one by one with example okay method no, method number 1 we will we will differentiate the two methods here as method number 1 and method number 2 here method number 2 here so you can you can uh, uh, solve the given linear equation in any of these two methods okay uh, for example we have a example of x plus 2 x plus 2 equals to 3 this is a linear equation okay what we have to do in method 1 is we have the unknown value that is x and we sh should not in order to find out the value of x we should not have have anything with x either multiplying or dividing or adding or subtracting so our purpose is to remove this two how you can remove this two so we are using the rule of mathematics for removing this as subtracting subtracting Two from both sides, as in from both sides. Yani both. It means both sides of equality. It means if you are going to subtract from left hand side, you should also have to subtract it from right hand side. So we will write it as x plus two minus two equals to three minus two. Okay. They cancel out. And x is equals to three minus two is equals to one, so the value of x comes out to be one. So for checking that whether the, this value of x is right or not, we can check it like this. We what we will do? We will put this value of x in this equation. Okay. The equation was x plus two equals to three. The value of x comes out is one plus two equals to three, and three is equal to three. It means left hand side is equals to right hand side. That proves that the, that proves the root of this equation is correct. This is the root. Root of this equation is x equals to one. okay 
now this was the one method let's fi find out the solution by another method we have x plus 2 equals to 3 again we should not have in order to find out the value of x we, there should not be anything multiply divide add or subtract in x so what we will do we will just move this here and whenever we move anything from one side of equality to another change the what we will do we will change or invert the sign invert the sign in case it is adding okay what uh, what it will then x is equals to 3 minus 2 and x is equals to 1 so here again the answer is same this is the root so similarly again from here we can also check in the same way as we have as we have in the in method number one again x plus 2 equals to 3 put the value of x 1 plus 2 equals to 3 3 is equal to 3 it means that you can use both of these methods to find out the or to solve a, a solver for solving the linear equation and finding out the value of x let's take some more example okay we are having a question to write method number one here and method two here okay now we are uh, having a, a little bit a little bit a little bit uh, complex equation 5x minus 6 equals to 10 okay 5x 6 equals to 10 how we will solve it out by method one we have to remove everything that is with x this one and this one we have to remove these so we will remove them one by one first we will remove this one we, we will remove this one on firstly and then we will go to this okay so we what we will do as in order to remove minus 6 what we have to do to remove the 6 it means we have to add plus 6 so that it can be removed so adding adding 6 on both sides okay so what it will be like 5x minus 6 plus 6 equals to 10 plus 6 will be cancel out and what we have 5x equals to 16 now 5x we have to remove this 5 what we will do that whatever is multiplied on one side of equality it will be divided on another side of equality so it will go here so how you will write it x is equals to 16 over 5 so this is how we can solve a certain equation by using method 1 and this is the this is the root okay root of the equation okay by method 2 how you will solve it we have to move this here 5x equals to 10 sign will be inverted 10 plus 6 now what we will do about it so whatever is multiplied here will go to denominator means anything that is in numerator in on left hand side it will go into denominator on the right hand side and anything that is on numerator in denominator will go to the uh, to the numerator so it will be written like x is equal to 16 over 5 so method 2 is a quite bit uh, uh, easy and short to find out uh, to, uh, to uh, solve a, a linear equation uh, quickly so this method is preferable 
so this is called the root of the equation okay let's have a have one more example one more example for uh, solving this we have an example we will use any method to find out this the, this the example is example is x plus 4 over 3 equals to x plus 6 over 2 okay so what we will do we will cross multiply them cross multiply them but we will get 2 into x plus 4 is equals to 3 into x plus 6 okay multiply them together 2x plus 8 equals to 3x plus 18 okay cross multiplication we have done cross multiplication here okay then distributive property we have applied the distributed distributive property of addition distributive property of addition of uh, distributive property of multiplication okay now what we will do we will arrange the terms by keeping the like terms at one side and the unlike terms at the other side okay what we will do we will do we will move this here and move this here okay 2x plus minus signs will be inverted 3x equals to 18 minus 8 okay signs will be inverted okay then 2x minus 3x is we solve it as 2 minus 3 18 minus 8 is 10 it will be minus x equals to 10 or x is equals to minus 10 so this is how we have got the root of the given equation by solving it like this so th this is the method of solving a certain equation um, directly um, as we have already discussed the two different methods um, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, a little bit time before okay this was all about how you can find out a certain uh, how you can find out the value of a certain variable in an equation in a linear equation now we can check it uh, check it whether its uh, root is right or not and let's see how we can check check is very important to confirm your answer okay wait how we can check we have x plus 4 over 3 is equals to x plus 6 over 2 but the root was x is equals to minus 10 what we will do we will put this value here and here so instead of x we will write minus 10 plus 4 over 3 equals to minus 10 plus 6 over 2 minus 10 plus 4 is minus 6 over 3 and it's minus 4 over 2 3 1 are 3 2 2 ones are 2 2 is are 4 and minus minus is cancelled out so we have got 2 is equals to 2 it means left hand side is equals to right hand side and hence prove your roots are right that the root that the root that you have found out is right so this was all about solving a linear equation with one variable and in our next uh, few lecture uh, in our next lecture we will discuss the linear equation solution uh, 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 related to the word problems when you are given with the word problem of linear equations how you can solve it thank you